What's up guys this is Rana and today's video we will talk about frame blending. So what is frame blending? Well frame blending gonna help you to get rid of those choppiness as we've seen in the previous episode. So today we're gonna get rid of those choppiness and we will have smooth footage like a professional shoot. So for that let's get started. Alright guys, now we are inside of After Effects. As you can see on my timeline, I have this piece of stock footage which I download from internet. You can access the same file on the description of this video to follow along with me. So just stick for the demonstration, I enable time remapping on this layer to make the footage slower. But you can use uh, time stretch as well. If you do not know about time remapping or time stretch, go ahead and watch my other episode where you can get uh, the knowledge about time remapping and time stretch. So for now, in this video, we're going to use uh, frame blending to get rid of those issues that we face in the previous episode so for less uh, ram preview this let's have a look how it's look like as you can see guys uh, now we have this jerky looking uh, and segmenting kind of footage uh, when we apply time remapping or time stretch on the layer uh, you can clearly see on this uh, on her hair this is moving uh, something like this this but we're going to fix this by using the frame blending option to make this footage smoother and like uh, shoot with the professional camera so if I come over here so this is called frame blending switch so after effect have two types of frame blending frame mix and uh, pixel motion frame mix is going to take less time to render but pixel motion will give you much better result I always use pixel motion over the frame mix because this is going to give you as well the better result if I simply click on here now I'm in frame mix option so this is going to less time to render but will give you better result when we apply time remapping but you have to have enable this frame blending switch as well so let's ramp review this as you can see here guys now we have much better result than before but we have some sort of blurry effect ghosting effect going on here but let me show you about uh, pixel motion if I again click on this switch as you can see this uh, switch is changes now we are on pixel motion if I ramp review this all right guys as you can see now we have much better result over frame mix because this is the pixel motion even though it take much more time to render but it will give you much better result than frame mix but you have to have uh, this uh, your final quality set because if you click on this dotted quality this is going to automatically change to your frame mix make sure this is set to the final quality so another thing i want to tell you is that if i select the last keyframe and i squash this close to the first one to make this footage faster if i ramp review this i'm going to show you what's going to happen as you can see guys now we have this uh, fast footage but there is so much information been lost but the frame blending option isn't gonna fix this so in this case we have a pixel motion plugin which comes with CS6 and the above version of the after effect so in the next episode we will talk about pixel motion plugins all right guys that's the pretty much it i hope you enjoyed today's video if you really enjoyed it please don't forget to smash the like button if you learn anything from today's episode please don't forget to subscribe to my channel once you subscribe it you will have brand new episode at every saturday and sunday so for that see you guys in next time